I've been getting a lot of requests to do a reaction to E3. So here is my somewhat brief reaction to E3. Now since I'm a Nintendo reviewer, I'm only going to talk about Nintendo's part in E3. But I did take a quick look at Sony's new portable, and I thought it looked okay. The design didn't look too much different from a PSP, but I guess if it works, why not keep it up? But I'm not going to buy it, but I'm sure a couple people out there will. Nintendo's conference was interesting, but I think the thing everyone was talking about was the new Wii U. Which is a very weird sounding name for a console. If you say it over and over again, it sounds like a police siren. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. I don't particularly like the name, although I didn't like the name for the Wii either. It sounded weak and not something you would name a gaming system. But I guess that was the point is the Wii was more about encompassing the whole family into an activity than being a gaming system. Much to the chagrin of most of the Nintendo fanboys out there. It was made for kids and parents and did not target the demographics that the other gaming systems did. I know that pissed off a lot of gamers, but you can't deny that the Wii found its niche in the gaming world and just dominated it. Now don't get me wrong, I'm thrilled that they kept the name Wii since that means I won't have to get hounded by emails from people asking me if I'm going to change my name. But I think they should have gone more retro and named it like the Super Wii. But that's just me. I do like the new controller. The streaming video to the controller so you can play it without a TV is an interesting idea. But you're going to have to wonder how long these batteries are going to last with it needing to power the mini TV and the controller itself. My guess is that the battery life will be worse than the 3DS. And that's very concerning. I love the idea that you can use the pre-existing Wiimotes and nunchucks that you already own. So it makes me think that the new controller will be an optional add-on and not really a required device for most of the games out there. If they do this, then they can make a very cheap version of the system and then an elite package like Microsoft does with their system. The graphics do look amazing, but I'm going to hold off on really commenting on that until I actually get to play it. There were some great 3DS games coming up that I'm really looking forward to, like Luigi's Mansion 2 and Animal Crossing. So I'm sure someone's going to ask, am I going to review games for the Wii U? Wii U, Wii U, S -s sorry, it's hard to stop doing that. Yes, and I'm also going to continue to make reviews for the Wii as well. So I hope you guys enjoy those future reviews and all the ones coming up. And I thank you guys for watching.